This is a 21st century bicycle that amplifies a certain intellectual ability that man has. Actually, I read a survey in Scientific American in the early 70s. And what this survey had done was it measured the efficiency of locomotion for various species of things on the planet, birds, fish, dogs, and it ranked them. And uh, it turned out that the condor won. The con condor took the least amount of energy to get from point A to point B. And man sort of came in with a rather unimpressive showing about a third of the way down the list. But someone at uh, that magazine had the insight to test the efficiency of man riding a bicycle. And man riding a bicycle was twice as good as the condor, all the way off the end of the list. And it really illustrated man's ability as a tool maker to fashion a tool to amplify an inherent ability that he has. And that's really exactly what we feel we're doing. We're really sort of blazing the trails for the 21st century bicycle, but to amplify a slightly different inherent uh, ability that man has, the ability of a certain part of intelligence. Right now we're at the mechanical part of intelligence, where one of these devices can free a person from many of the drudgeries of life and allow really humans to do what they do best, which is to work on the conceptual level, to work on the creative level.